golden rain and lead to iodide. Attention, lead to nitrate and lead to iodide are very toxic, are suspected to be carcinogenic and are toxic to aquatic life. Acetic acid is caustic. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. When a solution of potassium iodide is dropped into a solution of a lead 2 salt, yellow lead 2 iodide is formed, which precipitates out of the solution. After a few minutes, large flakes of lead 2 iodide begin to form. When the test tube is heated with boiling water, a part of the lead iodide dissolves because it's about 10 times more soluble at this temperature. When the solution cools down, the lead iodide precipitates out again and forms shiny flat crystals. This demonstration is also called golden rain. To make the effect stronger, the experiment can be scaled up. For this, a solution made of 0.35 grams of lead to nitrate and 50 milliliters of distilled water is added to a 100 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. The solution is acidified with three drops of glacial acetic acid. Then a solution made of 0.2 grams of potassium iodide and 50 milliliters of distilled water is added. At this point, another 10 milliliters of water could be added because it was needed later on. The cotton wool is used to keep water vapors in the tube because those could contain traces of lead. Next, the flask is heated in a water bath. At first I try to heat with hot water, but it's easier to stir and heat the water bath directly. At the end a clear colorless solution is obtained even though lead iodide is yellow. After half an hour first crystals begin to form. Gradually, more crystals are formed and the crystals become larger. A larger batch takes more time to cool down, so larger crystals are obtained. This was the preparation of lead to iodide. I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate and comment.